Hey, today I'm in Belchertown, Massachusetts, looking at the, the buildings associated with the old hospital. This is called the Hospital for the Feeble-Minded. It officially closed in 1992 after getting sued a number of times and losing money, so they had to close down. There's only a few more buildings standing because they're in the process of demolishing them and creating a neighborhood. So I'm going to try to film as much of this as I can. I doubt I'll find a way in them, but you never know. Yeah, this place is pretty secured. I see new plywood all around it and everything. But if I do find a, a window open, I can probably peek through. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna see anything. The building's all boarded up. Unless I can get in there with my lights, I'm not going to see. The building doesn't look that bad, honestly. Oh, here's the front door. Yeah, look at all that rot and just in the entryway. Can't imagine the inside would be any better. Well, I'm going across the street now and see what's across. You see they're building a brand new road in the middle of it. But I'm going to go take a look at the other buildings, see what we have going on. On Google Maps, just a few months ago, this road was not here. It showed them digging pipes and everything. There was a big trench if you look at the map, but that's about it. You see in the distance here, there's a few more buildings I want to get a look at before they're taken down. A lot of people say that these buildings are haunted because so many of the patients died over the years. A few of them are dorms, one of them is an actual school, but none of these buildings look like they're big enough to be a school, because I've seen other guys' videos of this place from two years ago, where there's an entire gymnasium. Yeah, these buildings aren't going to last long, but they got beautiful slate roofs, so that minimizes damage done by the years. Okay, now this looks familiar. This looks just like what I've seen in other people's videos. It's untouched by construction, pretty much. It's grown in all the original trees. This might be part of the gym, actually. Yeah, this place is really secured, especially with the workers around. There's a guy's motorcycle. Yeah, 
Yeah, this has got to be the gym. Well, I got my tripod with me today. So I'm going to lift it up as high as I can. I don't think I can reach that window. But I'm going to try. Ah, like a foot too short. That's a disappointment. Now they're building this new circle. One of the buildings was just torn down this year across the street. At one point there was dozens of buildings. And this place has been abandoned since 92. And all the, they're labeled with numbers. This one is number 17. Oh, and the buildings just go on, look. That is cool. Ceilings caved in. One, what do you think that building could have been? Huh. This is actually made out of heavy metal, so it acts like bars. People dumping their trash over the years. Somebody with a sledgehammer really wanted to get in here. Oh, wow. That's why I bring flashlights. Whew. Hello? If it was a tunnel, I'd go down there, but it's just a room, no tunnel. Can't imagine what that would be for. Before I look at the other big buildings over there, I want to check out the one across the street. There's a sign there on the building saying dangerous asbestos. If I saw that sign first, I wouldn't have stuck my head in there.
This is obviously brand new irrigation. The grass isn't even grown in yet. You see what's in the fence there? That appears like it was a greenhouse. Cause it's got that dome shape to it. One of those greenhouses, not the glass ones, but the plastic roof. That's going to be the next building I visit. When I first came here, I was under the impression if I was even, even going to be able to see this. Because where Google Maps tells you to go, it's all barbed wire in. And it's right next to the police station. But in reality, most of it is way, way back. I'm walking up here because this door doesn't look... Yeah, that's locked. It's bent. It looked open. There's a building I didn't even see. It's so grown in. Well, this one's wide open. Some old refrigeration units. That's about it. I'm going back out the way I came. Even if I do find a way in, I kind of don't want to go in these now. They all say dangerous asbestos. No trespassing. Tunnel blocked. Yeah, there's probably tunnels below all these places. The awesome thing about this is the more I walk, I just find more and more. Whatever this is, it's in ruins. Looks like I'm headed back. That's a pretty neat old trailer, don't you think? Is that even a trailer? Or is that the back of a truck? Because it has a differential underneath it. This thing is something that's been in the skyline for a very long time. The school opened back in the 1930s.
see people constantly break into these things with crowbars to go exploring. And that's kind of what I was hoping for today. A clear way in. That place sadly is all Maybe I can get a view in that window And I don't know what the camera's seeing I'm just putting it up looking in there That'll be an absolute surprise to me later on. Back across the street, I have four more buildings to go look at. This was like just paved today. This one looks promising. Floor is concrete. That's good. Oh, man. I was expecting like a dark tunnel adventure. Well, that there is a giant walk-in freezer. The corner there is flooded with stagnant water. Well, let's take a look in this big walk-in freezer. Yeah. Look at that microphone. I didn't even notice the microphone was in my way. Totally caved in, look at that. Wow. 
This is so cool. I'm sad that this is going to be gone in just a couple short months. Just rain last night. There must be a puddle collected up on the roof. That was probably a bathroom. Wow. Whole roof is caved in. Oh, look at the hawk. Hawk is interested in what I'm doing. Pile of nails. Don't step on that. Look at all this burnt. There was a fire in here. Tread carefully so you don't get a nail in your foot. Now, this is what I came to see. So it looks like it goes around in a big circle. I'm going to go back around the other side because I want to go look in each and every one of these rooms. Wow. The, you know what I bet this is? I bet they used to keep people here. Because doesn't this look like a cell? Like where someone would have been? It's a... It's a... They're like cells. You know, I could be wrong. Because why would they keep electrical in there? If you know what these rooms are for, I'd like to know. Well, yeah, like these have got to be cells. Because what else would this be? I guess they could be like for people, yeah, I guess it could be. Like, you see those squares on the wall? That weird. I'm just taking photos as I walk through here. I want to take some pictures of these cells so I can ask about them. I'm trying to get as much footage as I can in here since I'm probably not going to be able to get in another building because out of the six I've already been to, this is the first I've been able to get into with this. Oxygen tank, maybe. Well, you don't see this anymore either. The, the, roofs in, the roof in this place is, you know, tar. Most people don't tar the roofs anymore. They have like this vinyl plastic that they stick down. Look at this trough off to the side.
Okay, now, folks, this was a bathroom. Look at the smashed toilet remains. You got your old soap dispenser. Take a look at that old soap dispenser. Washing is important. Single most important means of preventing the spread of infection. Not gonna see something that old anymore. Look at that, the mirror isn't even smashed. Incredible. I gotta take some picture of this. Oops. Yeah, another reason I don't, I don't, I don't want to shut my camera off because this is going to be a real pain to edit a video this long. Well, I was in some pretty dark places down there, and nope, I don't think it's haunted. Trains used to pull up to the back of this building and unload something. I didn't even get to go in this part. That was bricked off. Well, the train tracks aren't that far. Right there, they're still active. Don't know what, what, what train company it was back then. Probably Conrail. Is this one of the tunnels people were talking about? Even, see that? Ah, you would need like fishing waters to get in there. Look at that. That's flooded with like two feet of water. Their old dark tunnel. You know, it's probably just the basement. This place definitely had bad fire damage. Someone probably set it on fire after it was shut down. And you see they're ripping out trees around this because they're very close to demolishing it. Wow, I walked past that door in there. I could see cracks of light through it. Today I'm here to document as much of this place as I can because it's going to be gone soon. I want to have pictures of this before it's gone forever. Those buildings like I was just at have a lot of vulnerable parts, such as that loading dock I was on. But these, you gotta be lucky to get in one of these ones. These I believe were the dormitories. See there's a big hole in the fence. That's why I turned around. So I wanna take a look at this. Well, the basement door is off limits. What if I can squeeze through these bushes? I didn't even have to do that since the back of the building, there's no fence. Oh, 
Oh man, you see what they did? They boarded it up. There used to be doors here. And that door is most certainly bolted on the inside, right? Yeah. Well, no luck here. Look at these nice granite stairs. See? See the benches where people used to sit? Back when this t place was taken care of. Well, if I did get in there, the roof is all caved in. There's even trees growing in there. So it's not like I'd, it's not like I'm missing out on much. See, come summertime, this is gonna be a nice shady spot. If they do make a neighborhood here, they should really keep some of these beautiful trees they're good for shade. Could I see they're taking down so many of them? Look at that pine tree right in that window. Now this looks like it would have been where their handicapped patients were because you see it has this huge ramp coming out.
What's that silo looking thing on the wall? Got one of their old street lights. I want to take one more walk around the school. I've seen other people's videos from two years ago of this place and they got in there somehow. There's like second floor deck where people would sit and watch if something was going on in that gym. Actually, I am in luck. I can get a view of inside the gym. There's a hole in this. And there's a lot of light in there since there's windows. Excuse me a second, I gotta get that microphone out of the way. I should be good now. That's really big, isn't it? Yep. Too bad I can't go in there. There's also an auditorium, but I can't tell what building that's in. The disappointing thing to me is, even if I could get in one of these, I'd be able to get to the others, since there's a lot of tunnels beneath them. like my lucky day. I gotta fix my camera so I'm turned the right way. Wow, this is scary. Yeah, that's asbestos, all right. Damn it. It's just a basement. There's no doors down there. It's just a dead end. All that was was a big room. Well, looks like I'm going to end my video here. There's nothing else I can get.
probably a good thing I wasn't able to get in there. Because chances are these guys have had to have seen me walking around by now. The fire hydrants here are original. Whatever building this is, I didn't walk around yet. Lots of deer track here. They're using this building to keep their stuff dry. And this building, I can tell the roof is caved in because every hole I see on the building, there's sunlight coming through it. I'm gonna try to put my camera through one of the holes. Uh, you see that hole there? There's a view. You see, this this place couldn't have been boarded up that long. You see, other people found ways in there. You see this item, that, this whole thing is loose, but even if that piece of plywood ripped down, you got those heavy metal windows in the way.